What's up, everybody? I'm not even going to, you know, do much this week. I was going to post up a new video, but um, this hair was um, something to just get off my chest because this is my um, home I'm talking about, and I'm, for one, feel kind of heartbroken and saddened by the recent events this past weekend. And I mean, it just turned my stomach inside out, and my mind just felt kind of heartbroken you know and it just I don't know it just shook my world to the ground I mean if I'm a fan to um, music or beyond I think fans should know that this is the start of a certain time that been deserved by you by anyone and celebrate the, um, the hard work of a year that was worth rewarded now it took an act of Cardinism and fanaticism and lame brainism to um, even condone sick, sick act of um, terror, criminal activities, and just try to prove a point so you can, you know, be like a bigger bully, you know. And yeah, it, it breaks your heart, you know. It really, really breaks your heart, you know. I try to wrap this all around it so I can find comfort, you know. And yeah, it, it hurts so down much it just make you want to cry a little bit you know I've been Orlando guy for ever since I was a little boy and yet it breaks you down inside and drives you crazy and, it, it, and I mean you'd be saying and why in the world it breaks you down so hard you know still I'm glad I have the Lord knowing that what I'm going through right now, it, it hurts, you know, and friends who give me ideas and strength, you know, because it just, I feel sad, you know, still feel sad, you know, I mean, this is near the equal pain that, um, why I go through this past, um, November of 2015, it, it equals to that, you know, it, it even, you know, hurt. It still hurt, you know. I mean, first of all, people this suffer is Christina Grammy, who is a YouTuber and a voice contestant. And, and, and I heard a story with her in Daystorm Power, and I'm like, wow. And won an American Music Award on top of that as a rising star, and I'm like, wow. Her, her, her rise is just coming, and I'm like, wow. But to cut a life short by a act of um criminal activities or some sadistic fool who wants to um you know make himself known which is in my opinion ridiculous and just shoot her just because she made it to the top and yet you, sh you shot her for no apparent reason just to you know do something that is outrageous and pretty much dumb you know it kind of like why her she didn't do nothing wrong to nobody, just, you know, performing for an audience that, you know, appreciated her music and her talents. And yet, she was in town, and she was just, you know, being what a performer do, and show her show off her talents. And now, she's dead. I mean, at an early age, and it kind of breaks you down, too. So, in my opinion, it, it's heart-wrenching, you know, and it make it worse with the jaws of justice trying to get to him for his criminal activities he took his own life and that kind of makes it worse than already he is so I'm like this guy took the easy way out and I mean it just you feel like God this guy rather died is not let justice come after him I mean wow and I mean this guy punked himself out from justice and and I mean wow and it all happened on a Saturday a Friday night late Friday night and early morning I'm like wow I feel kind of sad but the weekend was not even close to this I mean a guy who have ties of terrorism took out 50 people yes 50 people in a nightclub and took them all out and I'm like wow 
50 people. It doesn't matter if you're sh straight, gay, or otherwise. This is outrageous, you know. Even the President of the United States weighed in on this. Even the Governor, even though I don't like him, he weighed in on this. Even the Mayor of Orlando, everyone, even radio stations are feeling kind of, you know, heartbroken, you know. This was just, to this day, it, it, it you know, kind of made it worse than it already is. And I like, shook my head in quite a confusion for this whole weekend, you know. Still, I feel kind of like the world that we know should been know that this is no longer a safe place. Because right now, this is pretty much a heart-wrenching year already. And with the losses of legendary stars, plus me, people that we know and love, gone. I think right now, we need a lot more to get our lives back together and stop hurting each other and help us help ourselves get back to the way things were a little bit instead of just going out and thinking you can join something worth doing so you can hurt somebody because this here in my opinion it's it's sad it breaks your heart to the point that it's not funny no more and I'm gonna end this right now guys um, my heart and soul and my prayers go to the grieving family and to me others who lost their lives this past weekend over the acts of um, Karenism to the acts of um, fanagalism and lots of things. Still, they didn't deserve to die this weekend. Anything whatsoever. So, again, my heart goes out to everyone. So, we miss y'all.